All right, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm excited to be here uh, this evening with you all because I get to show off some more new jewelry, new free forms, as I call them. And I'm really excited. So I'm going to give um, just a, a few minutes. Hi, Kathy. How are you, darling? Just going to take a few minutes just to a moment to um, allow some others to come in. I know last time they said, oh, I picked it up in the last minute. <laughs> so we'll just wait. I hope uh, hope you're doing okay. Um, I am. I'm. There is so much to talk about. There is so much, um, so many, so many ideas that I have created. I put down on paper, and for the last six months, now it's all coming to fruition. So I'm really excited about it. Hi, Shelly. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Kathy, for coming. Oh, thank you. I. You know, it's funny. I hardly ever wear earrings, and ever since I start making them, these freeforms, now I start wearing earrings, so I was really happy about that. I get to wear my own earrings. I just can't wait to show them off at a, a craft show. I'm really excited about this, but it probably won't be till August. We usually have our craft shows now, but I'm in the middle of this, so probably in August I'll be at a, one of the craft shows. and. Um, I was supposed to take a tour trip. Carl and I were supposed to take a tour trip. Um, or I guess a field trip or whatever you want to call it trip. We, uh, we were going to rent a, a big, big bus and we were going to go to all the cities that where all my followers are and my friends. And, and uh, that kind of got no <laughs> because of, uh, you know, COVID and all that. So we're hoping next year that I'll be able to come to your town. Now, the, the whole plan was to go live with someone that is one of my followers, and uh, I, I have the, uh, the bus is gonna be set up with everything, with the laptop, with, um, with all crafts, and you can come by and you can, um, you know, design something with me live on the show, so I thought that would be fun. But so we'll plan for next year. <laughs> also, um, I know a lot of you have been asking me about Christmas um, and Halloween. There's going to be so many things that you can create that I am already now in the process of. So hopefully um, in July, hopefully the first or second week, I will be releasing uh, Christmas in July freeforms. It's going to be really awesome. All kinds of things that you can um you know, you can sell or you can give us gifts. It's going to be really fun. Uh, tonight, I, I actually, um, I was actually wearing the earrings that um, I'm going to be recreating them. I I was wearing them last time at the show and everyone loved the butterflies. So it will be butterflies tonight. We are going, I'm going to make them in front of you, but I kind of put a little twist on it. Hi! It's Carol. I, yeah, I think you're Carol because I know you're, I know you're um, naughty but crafty. <laughs> How are you? Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. So tonight won't be two hours. I have to thank you, each and every one of you for hanging in there with me. I think that's fantastic. Everybody said they hung in there for two hours with you. So tonight's not going to be so long. Um, I was just so darn excited last time I wanted to show everybody everything. But tonight I, I have two pairs of earrings. Um, I have already one that I've created. Um, I have two pairs of earrings I'm going to show you tonight. And the one I've already created and I'm just going to do the second pair in front of you so you can see it. But I hope everybody got their orders and um, and is starting to try out the the new um, what do we have the UV resin remember and I just love I love playing with that UV resin oh thank you Carol thank you thank you so uh, it, it's really taken me to the next level the UV resin oh good you're working on them now fantastic I'm so happy so before I begin I know a lot of 
a lot of you have asked me you don't do your card of the day anymore and I do apologize because it's just been one thing after another I mean the ideas in my head can't I can't produce more than what I, can, what I think of because I'm constantly thinking oh I got an idea for this I got an idea for that so I'm going to give you a card of the day it's well it's the evening here in South New Jersey um, but I think you can carry this over for the week maybe right it's always nice to have a nice card of the day nice something positive there's so many things that are going on in the world we know and sometimes I try not to listen to the news which I don't but it pops up on my on my feed in my on my phone hello hello welcome welcome yes red white and blue oh you're doing the red white and blue okay Okay, here's a card. Just flew out. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, a woman. I'm going to read it to you. And this is what it says in the back. Explore, explore life and create your own experiences. Let go of being normal. Don't you just love that? I love that. Yes. Just let go of just being normal. Well, what, what society thinks normal is, right? Just let go. I love this. Um, these cards. I always have my children pick one for the day, and I think when you start off your day like that, it really does put you in the zone of always something positive being, um, you know, like you're a magnet for positivity. And I think that's so great. You know, when I wake up, I say my affirmations. Um, and I just I'm saying I'm grateful for this if you say one thing a day grateful for something believe me your whole day changes and and there's that sometimes um, you know things happen and it doesn't go so great but you know what just pick up where you left off and say okay I'm just gonna move on we have to have to start thinking that way because um, too many things are happening in the world and we just need to keep the positive inside us so we are connected and, and drawn, people are drawn to us for the positivity. All right, so enough of my blabbing on. I know, I know, Shelly, great card, great card. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my face off and uh, what else do I have to tell you? Um, I will come back again, but I'm going to I'm going to have my camera face down on the goodies that I'm going to show you today. So, you know, I always try to think outside the box. I'm like this. I got to put a twist on something. Right. But I also have to keep it somewhat general. But for me, my jewelry is all bohemian. I have a whole slew of jewelry pieces that are all bohemian and my customers like that. So I'm always adding a whole bunch of stuff. So if you ever seen Bohemian jewelry, there's pieces of things shredded, and I just love that because it's very free spirited, and it's it you can just do anything to it. But also I have customers that like you know they want things that are a little bit more different, and I want to offer that. But you can do anything with these pieces. You can add to it. Um, this I'm going to show you tonight are two kits that I have already and the kits are already sold out so thank you um, and I've actually I'm trying to incorporate let me see if I have here we go I'm trying to incorporate you want to learn how to make what Carol the free forms or I'm not quite sure so paper I had mentioned this before the paper and I won't talk too long, believe me. The, the paper's natural, right? So I also sell crystals and I sell these these um, these chips. Now this is Moonstone and I have a slew of different types. We have Appetite, we have um, Rose Quartz, all that. And I wanted to try to incorporate that into the paper because it really does put a little bit more value on your jewelry too. So if you're selling them, um, you can believe me if someone knows oh you've got moonstone and if you've got black obsidian on there because they all have a certain meaning to it and with each kit i'm going to give you um one of these cards Let's see if you see now this says moonstone i think the more you know about your piece of jewelry the more you know what you're selling more people will have a tendency to purchase it so let's say you have your table set out on display and you put one of these cards up. So each, anything that you purchase, I will give you one of the cards to explain what the meaning of each stone means. So I think it's 
it's kind of like a conversational piece to bring people into your area and start talking about that I'm telling you you've got a sale right there so they're the little plugs that I wanted to just tell you um, what we have so I've incorporated some stones into this and I know July 4th is right around the corner <laughs> oh thank you Shelly yes oh the boho uh, Carol uh, yeah Carol you're talking about bohos yeah so I got a lot of other ideas um, everyone's been asking me I get messages all the time can you do a show every day can you do a show once a week can you just do something so I decided um, you know I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself but I think I'm gonna do something once a week and it's not gonna be something that is like you know I'm gonna create this beautiful thing <laughs> but although my jewelry I love I think I'm gonna create something that's from the website like all the kits so I think I may do that once a week I haven't I have to look at my schedule because everybody likes to come together and talk and and you know just talk about jewelry right so I might be able to do that on Thursdays I have to take a look at my schedule I might do it just in the group um it, it depends I think I just might do it in the group um but I don't know we'll see but I think I'm going to meet every once a week and um just you know show you how to make some things you know I like to give you all my little secrets and ideas uh, because you too can definitely I've had so many people that come to my house and say I'm going to a craft show tomorrow I need something <laughs> so believe me this stuff really does it's really it's it's nice to to make it's nice it's enjoyable and uh, you get you make money from it all right so let's get started I'm gonna let me get my all righty here we go mm -hmm. all right so here we have all these goodies right here and last week uh, I showed you some of the four millimeters that I created and I love working with the resin I'm telling you people it is a lot of work but you know what when you get into a rhythm I think you'll be able to do it what I love most about it it just makes them look like little beads little glass beads look at those right so today I'm going to show you I love dimensional things I like things that pop out right so I know July 4th is right around the corner if you were to place the order tomorrow this will be all available tomorrow at 10 a.m. if you place it tomorrow it will go out on Monday morning so hopefully you'll, you you will get them hopefully in two days enough for July 4th um, but th I don't think they just have to be for July 4th so look at this <laughs> Kathy you will I'm telling you it took me some time it really did to find the rhythm of of doing them a little bit quicker I mean come on look at these how many did I do <laughs> alright so look at this I made it a dimensional so they pop when they're on your ear look at that it's like a three-dimensional and butterflies have meanings of beginnings new hope new adventures all kinds of things so this is the red white and blue that's the back and I have the red white and blue little four millimeter paper strips hey Joanne hi and then I have here hanging are the crystal chips. So this is Moonstone, this is Appetite, and this is Red Coral. So the meaning for Moonstone is really quite unique. It means new beginnings. Um, the energy is, it, and actually it's, when the moon is out, it's it's so, it, it, it fills you up with energy. So it's a very, um, it's like a yin and yang kind of, energy and then the appetite is blue so this gives you a lot of confidence this um, crystal or, or chip this crystal chip um, gives you the energy and well actually the calmness of your mind your body when you you feel energetic but blues are always calming and especially if you're a water sign we love that I'm a Pisces I love that and then we have the red coral so can you imagine you explaining this to a customer they're gonna be like so fascinated 
And then you have the red coral, which gives you energy and, and, and all kinds of uh, enthusiasm and, and creativity. So these are great things to add to your, your pieces, something different, right? Hi, Terry. Okay, so let's make this together. Um, I also just added another little bead to the top. And I actually started the second piece. And look, I didn't want to match them. I wanted to be a little bit different. I put a blue one where this one's red. Okay, but this was so much fun. It looks like it's actually, I asked Carl, what did, you know, I said, what does this look like? He said, it looks like it's flying off <laughs> because it's so, um, you know, dimensional. So these are two, two, two of them put together, two pieces of earrings. So I'm going to uh, finish this one off for you, but not until I show you how to create this, which I love to do. Now, let me put these aside. And if you have any questions, just let me know, ask me, whatever there is. Okay, with the earrings, remember with these, let me grab this. there's a hole in each wing okay and I have the uh, uh, the mirror of them so I'll show you and here's another hole so remember before you begin you have to make sure that they are the opposite I'll show you so this will be my right and this will be my left earring all right then you have your fillers let me bring the down just a smidgen so you can see Hi, Bex. Hello. Oh, hello from hello from the USA. Hello to you in the UK. All right. So here we have our fillers. I call these fillers because they're going to go in between. They're going to smack in between, right between your earrings. Um, and then we have the opposite because I'll show you. I'll show you what this all means in just a moment. I have to make sure that I get the opposite of them. So if you notice the holes, let me grab another one. I did separate these. Let me just grab them out. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn this one over, and this will be the match for this one, because if you notice, the holes are together. And then this bag has... the opposite for this one. So I'm looking for this one. Turn it over and see how it matches up the holes. So you want to make sure that you get that. And I always make sure that you have the correct ones. Then we're going to get our glue. Get my other stuff. And if you can't see or if you can't hear me, please just let me know. Okay. Put those to the side. I want to come down just a little bit more so you can see me see that I hate when it's too it's not close enough okay I'm going to start with this one and this is my filler now the fillers also come in white as well and you think I would have that on the table no of course not why would I be so prepared <laughs> here you go here's the white depending on how you want your filler to be, right? Now, remember, when you put these together, I just found that the black filler kind of filled it in. I didn't have to really paint over anything. But if you want to use the white, that's fine too. Um, the only thing is you'll have a white core, which is fine. And you can either paint that a red or a blue. You can outline them that way. It depends on what you like. And they are both offered from... Um, they're all, both offered to you, the black and the white. Then I get some glue. And the one thing I do, which is really important, is I have my nozzle here. And when I where I place the glue is really important so the edges don't lift up when I glaze them. You want to make sure, if you can, if hopefully you can see that, I'm going around only on the edges. It's really the edges. And make sure that you go around the hole too. Just a few of, I mean, you don't have to douse it with it, like a lot of it. And now this is the tricky part, which is really, I really want you to see this. This one goes here. When you, as soon as you place this on there, 
I want you to pick it up and like you're stacking a deck of cards. You want the hole to make sure that the hole is right there. That may take, it's a bit of a challenge sometimes, but if you, if you do it like I, if you go according to what I just said, like a deck of cards, and then place it down and then press it. Give that a moment to dry. Thank you, Terry. Now we're gonna do the opposite. This one goes there, that's there. And we're, let's do the other one. Actually, I'm going to put this one to the side. I might just do the one earring so you can see it. Now with this, this is the one earring. And this is going to be the top of it. If you want to place two as fillers, you can. It depends on how thick you want your, um, your earring to be. I don't really care for the thickness too much, but I have some people that say, can I have three or four fillers, and, and I do it. All right, now this is the most trickiest part. Because there's no filler in there, this is a little bit more uh, rigid and harder and thicker. You're able to stack them. Just place it in the, try to, and try to stack as much as you can. Don't press down on the glue just yet until you know that you have them in there. And if you want, you can get like a toothpick. Just put that in the hole, keep it in there, and then get another toothpick to line them up. It must They must be lined up. You don't want them to, um, to move any. All right, there we go, it's lined up. However you do it. All right, all right, I think I lined them up. Let me see. Yeah, I think I did an okay job with my arms in the air like this. <laughs> Okay, now I want to make sure everyone understands. I know we had a comment in the group. Someone said, you know, this always gets, um, uh, the glue always gets um, stuck. You can poke it with a pin. Don't ever leave the pin in there, please, because it's going to rust and your glue is going to turn brown. Always make sure you have your little lid there, your cap. Put it back on there when you're not using it because that'll keep it from clogging up. All right, so now we have our base here, okay? Now we could do one of two things. Let me, yep, I got it. There we go. Look at that, it, it actually matches really well. <laughs> All right, so that one, this is the bottom to this. So this is dried. I feel that I could, I could put this on there now. Let's finish this up with some glue. Remember, try to keep it around the edges because you don't want them to lift up. And then just very lightly put it on there, pick it up, and then stack it like a card. Stack them like cards, so deck of cards. You really wanna make sure that you get that in the hole. You don't want anything else to show. Very slowly and lightly, and like I said, you can use your toothpick make sure that yeah there we go alrighty so that little guy is going to stay there and he's going to dry for a while while we make a dimensional butterfly out of that one so then we're going to get this one now the trick to this one you can do it however you want but please be mindful you see these holes this is to your left earring or your right side, whatever, whichever one. Just make sure that the second piece that goes on top of that lines up. See, they don't line up there. So I'm gonna turn it over and now we do. We have it just like a mirror. Because if you have it on the other side, I mean, you can, it's up to you. But if you want it to be lined up like I had this one, this is what you need to do. Um, can you Mod Podge the filler in? Yeah, 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 for sure, definitely. If you want to use the, if the Mod Podge, I have Mod Podge right here. I usually do that on the outside, but most definitely if you, I, you know, listen, I always say try it. And if it works for you, then go for it. You have to go with what works for you. I know that, um, you know, I had to play with a lot of different glues, like, the Elmer's the clear glue is the best for me. That's what works. Everybody's different. So yeah, for sure, you can put that through there. 
all right so to put this on here um i usually see there's like a little let me see if you can see it see the little butterfly i don't know what you call that the, the body the the head <laughs> it's stem <laughs> you want to put a little glue in there like that now this is the tricky part because you're going hopefully you can see me here if i'm moving too much let me know i'm going to get just my uh tweezers i'm going to stick it in the middle of the one that i didn't glue i'm going to bend it and i'm going to bend the other way then i'm going to slightly <laughs> want to make sure that they're bending like that i'm going to place it let me see if i could do this in the air put it right on top of there You want to hold it like with the tweezer and you're just going to flap it a little bit and there we have you want to hold it for just a moment you know for a little bit we're almost there see it's already coming to life my holes are lined up my fillers in there my back looks good all right so i'm going to leave that there for a little bit let me put this back on so it doesn't all right now i'm going to get my mosh posh usually i always let this sit for a while but time wise you know like the cooking show they just pull out the they just pull out the food that's already made all right so here we go i have some mosh posh let me see if i could all right i dipped it in there i'm not really pouring it in anything and what i did was this might come off because it's not ready, it's not dried yet, but as you can see, I am putting on the insides of it first. These tweezers are phenomenal. I got these out of the kit um, when I purchased the, um, the quilling tools. They had this in there. I thought, oh my gosh, those quilling tools. I don't think I'm ever going to use, <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to use the paper bead rollers anymore because I love that the quilling tool gives me a tiny, tiny hole. Thank you, Kathy. I love the butterflies too. And this is another conversational piece. Tell people, which it's true, butterflies mean new beginnings. They love that. People love hearing that. Now, the most important thing to do on this too, please put it on the sides. Put them on the edges. Look, he moved. He wants to fly away. Put it on the sides. Not too much. Don't get too gunked up with it because I have a tendency to do that. If you do touch the holes, please make sure that you just poke it through and do it like this so it doesn't clog it up. Then I'd let that sit for a little bit. I'm going to let that sit for just a moment. And while that's being done, I think I'm going to start adding to the one um, that I had started because um, this is, uh, in order for me to show you the glazing, it really must dry. So we're going to put that to the side for now and let that little guy dry. Alrighty. And let's start with okay now for me there's one thing that i've always love i do like them to be symmetrical I, I do like where i placed the blue where i placed each bead i like it on the opposite but see i love that bohemian look <laughs> i love when it's all like different it's different it's just thrown in there all right so let me see i have my and this is all a kit this is your kit um, if you don't want the uh, you get extra beads paper beads if you do not want these so there's two kits actually there's one without the chips which is four dollars the ones with the crystal chips are is eight dollars and the, and the kit is just to see if you like like it I wanted you to try it out um, you know so that's that's important all right and then we have our little thingies here and let me grab uh, I'm using this blue and I'm using this blue I did went ahead and used and wired um, wrap the wire around them here's the red and the white here's the white 
If you want me to wrap one of these in front of you, I have no problem doing that because I know a lot of you are new to it. So I'd be more than happy to do that. But let's, I'm just going to go ahead now and get my tools. And let's see this. You can never find them when you want them. <laughs> They're all over the place. All right. So we have the white one. I'm going to grab a white one. And I'm going to grab... Now, uh, there are smaller ones that I could use, but I'm just going to use these. I believe that I have a small one on there. Just hook that just like so. And I'm going to hook it on the first one. And then we're just going to close this like so. Make sure when you use your jump rings you really close them well. I have a tendency not to sometimes. <laughs> and they, then the beads are falling off. Okay, and then we have a blue one. It's like a real blue. I'm out of... Sorry. And then let's see. This blue one is here. Squeeze that. And then we have our red one. There's a red one. And that's right between there. There we go. This was so much fun to make. I loved making these. All right, come on, get in there. The jump rings are too big, but you get the idea. I did the one. <laughs> All right, so then we have a right and blue, and we have a little light blue one down here get this one done. And that one's going to go right down here. And then I think the um, I think our butterfly may be dried a little bit. All right, let me go back to the butterfly real quick that we're, we're creating. It, it, it does feel like it's dry. Now, what I'm going to do is the front part, which is really important. I want to make sure that you get this whole instructions here. Okay. And like I said, don't put too much on, too, like don't put too much Maj Paj. So I'm going to do inside of it. And it's okay if you're bending them a little bit because you're going to bring prop them back up again. So there we go. Put them back up. And then you do the back side. Okay. Just a little. You don't want too much. Okay. And you will do the back once this, you know what, I can do the back right now because I think I know what I'm going to do. You want to do the back with Mosh Podge. The edges. I'm just going to lay it just like that. Can you see that? I'm going to lay it just like that for it to dry, and I'm done with the Maj Paj. Alrighty. Okay, so what else we have here? I think we're done with our beads here. And now we're going to have the chips. I love working with these chips. They're awesome. And I do sell the, um, by the packs. This is Halite. These are the chips with the holes. To find chips with holes, are, I'm telling you, it's really difficult. Um, because I get these from Brazil and all around the world, they actually have to be drilled. These are true blue crystal chips. You may find ones that look like this, but they usually come by the strand. And just be mindful, if you're not going to purchase here, be mindful wherever you purchase that they are a reliable source because there's nothing like selling something that isn't real. And these are real. These are halite. 
all right sometimes you'll see them in like Hobby Lobby or something. they're blue and they say it's turquoise it's really just how light dyed and real turquoise is very very expensive but I mean if that's where, where you want to go with it that's great because just make sure you tell your customer though that it's either dyed I like to be really transparent with everything hi Sharon welcome welcome all right so let me go grab my chips um here they go and this is called appetite and we have coral and I actually did some already but I'm gonna wrap that wire in front of you and where did my moonstone go to let me grab my moonstone Mm -hmm. all righty here's a moonstone right there and I love it when I when you talk to you know people about your your item like I, I they just love to talk I don't know if that happens to you but when I was um when I used to do the craft shows I would stand up I never sat first of all <laughs> I always uh just stood up and always looked like I was fixing my table but it always brought them over and I was able to talk to them and I really enjoyed the conversations that I would hold with everyone and I would talk about it you know it's paper all right so here's the moonstone here's my head pin it's the ball head pin and I'm gonna grab my round nose and make a little loop there back over again a lot of people are asking me to, 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 to show them how to do this so I think I may be able to do that in the group which I probably will I'll probably figure out a nice day probably a Thursday and just come by and make some jewelry it's fun it really is now that we have help with belly beads <laughs> I'm able to get the orders out and a little quicker and it's been nice it's been real real nice and the weather out here has been fantastic I don't know where you're at but uh, tell me is the weather out there fantastic for you all right so here's the moonstone here's the moonstone done here we go we're done that one uh, and then we just have one more to go now you can have silver um, I like I said I usually do silver but I just love the brass look with this silver probably would look pretty as well too but like I said I do a lot of uh, bohemian do a lot of bohemian um, jewelry and a lot of its brass alrighty let's get this done Oh, Carol, I know you you were so lucky. Um, I do ship internationally. It's just a, it's very expensive. I mean, yes, I do. I have a couple of people uh in Australia, um where else? All over. I actually have them all over the place. But they pay it and I feel so bad. Sometimes I'll I'll throw in something for you because I just feel so bad that the shipping is so expensive shipping is fifty dollars uh, is only it, it's it's free in the u.s only but uh if you purchase fifty dollars or more but um yeah like if it's a really big order i probably will split it half with you it depends but more more than ever it's 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 so expensive anymore all right i had too many rings on there so here I am I'm gonna get done right now with this one and I'm sorry I'm I'm like moving this all over the place and I think this little fellow was right down there there we go all right so this one is done so there you go but it's well it's not completely done not completely done I don't need that one it's almost done it's almost done All right, we figured out the whole chat and camera thing. Now I just have to figure out how to keep.
keep it focused. All right, so here we go. Here's the little butterfly that was stuck to the paper. Now, wasn't that a good recommendation? Don't, don't do this on paper. Um, it's still a little bit wet. So while that's still drying, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing with, with the, um, the ear pieces. Like I said, I have to wear everything hyperallergenic and because I'm allergic to everything. But when I paint these, these, I have them in my ears now. And thankfully that it's, it's not bothering me. If you paint the ear wires. Alrighty. So, um, these are obviously silver. And I think that the best way to use patina is uh, on silver. It's okay to use it on the brass, but I wanted to um, I wanted to put a little bit more pizzazz to this, so I can do either blue or white. So I think hmm, maybe the white or the blue. What do you think? What What do you think? Oh, one hundred and four, Shelly. Oh my goodness. So should I color these white or blue? What do you think? What do you think? I'll shake them up. I just like to put a little bit extra different pizzazz and stuff. <laughs> Why I shake these up? Tell me, somebody tell me. White. Okay, Shelly, it's white. Let me shake this white up. This is almost dry. And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you how how to glaze them again. All right. So I am going to put a little bit of, probably can't see this, there you go. That is pretty wasteful. I just want to tell you that. I usually put, um, I usually place it in a cup, but hey, okay. this is show business here. <laughs> All right, so there you go. You just get a sponge or a, um, a paintbrush and just start painting them. Um, one of my, a friend of mine who who purchased a, quite a bit of these, she went to a craft show. Was it uh, Tuesday or Wednesday? I forget. But she was taking pictures, and I told her, "Please take pictures. I want to, you know, show the group." And um, she showed me, and then of course when I went back to it, I couldn't get them. Um, but she said she did a, a phenomenal job. Everybody loved the free forms. They were like, this is so different. And it's nice. And a lot of people liked it because um, it had the extra glass look to it with the, with the UV resin. Tell me, anybody get the UV resin and did you smell it yet? It's really not that bad. Oh, it's winter, Terry. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if you like winter, but I don't care for it too much. I don't like the cold. This is one, one thing great about the patina. You don't have to really wait in between to let them dry. I usually do it until I can't see the silver anymore. I just go ahead and pat it. There you go. They're white now. And if you want a little extra to keep that on there, you can use the glaze gloss. Like I said, I mean, you must tell people what you have on it so in case you need to change it. I always make sure I have extra on hand when I'm at a craft show because if someone said, nope, I can't use any of that, I change them immediately for them. And they're easy to change. So I always have my tools and stuff with me. Um, but you can put the gloss over it. Like I said, I already have them in my ears. Oh, you haven't gotten the UV resin? Oh my gosh, I love the UV resin. I have been wanting to work with the UV resin forever, but because of the two-part stuff, that was nearly knocking me over. I was like, oh boy, you're killing me here. All right, these are kind of dry. So I'm going to attach them anyway because I'm excited and I want to put them on. I love these. And then I have another pair, which all I have to do is attach something to it. It's really kind of cool. That won't take too long. I could have even done these white, but I thought, uh, oh, I don't have to do this. What am I saying? Boop, boop. Wrong. Eh. <laughs> you can put a, um, a, a jump ring in there if you want, but I'm just going to unhook this baby right there and slide it through. 
and you do get um, actually you got the choice of um, what ear wire oh make sure you put them on the right the right side too this one's backwards uh, you get a choice with this kit you can have white or blue ear wires I do paint them so that's fun I love doing stuff like that and there's the one let me get the other one These are great. All you gotta do is, if you haven't worked with those, they're so easy. I should be using two tools, but I don't. No, the um, no, the paint does not fleck off. Now, patina is really cool. If you've ever used this, this is like my go-to. Everybody knows. Even on in the group, they're like Gina, but they're not making this anymore. Better grab them, but they are still making them. They're just limited colors. Um, you can use these on anything, and you can use a. Um, let me see if I have it here so I can show you. Ooh, there you go. Of course, everything I. Oops, sorry. Well, it's a filing see if I can show you. You can use a file on them like this to make it look like it's worn. Usually that's the, the best color for that is a uh, turquoise and if it's on like a brown brass color and then you just flick some off and then place this over top of it it does not fleck off at all. It's really cool and um, actually if you notice I'm kind of trying to take this off now and this isn't even on there whoops there you go this uh, glaze gloss and this is from vintage too it's the same company that's making this so I am kind of rubbing this off and it's not but I do highly recommend to use the glaze over top of them all right and then here we go we have our earrings let me grab that away here. All right. And we're we are ready to glaze that. I won't make a full earring out of that because, you know, time purposes. And there's the Here they go. And that's the white, which is really kind of cool. So let's go ahead and let's start to um, show you how I do it. I have the UV resin, which I love, 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 um, and my magical tool, toothpick. <laughs> the reason why I don't use a brush is because you see brush marks. And when you're using resin, it has a tendency to want to pull pull up in certain spots and by manipulating that with a um, toothpick it just allowed me to work with it a little bit better you don't have to use this I'm just that's me thank you Shelly and um, I had recommended if you want you can certainly um, place this in a warm cup like a cup full of water that's already warm and then place it in there and that'll allow to liquefy a little bit more it'll get real like very liquidy some come with uh you know a little hesitancy like it's a little bit more gluey like don't you love this terminology i'm using <laughs> but um it's a little thicker i should say but if yours is thicker, you can just warm it up. Do not put it in the microwave. Do not put it in the oven. Get a hot, uh, get a cup, pour it with water, hot water in it, and then place this in it. And that'll warm it up for a little bit. Keep it away from light. That's why it's dark. Just keep it away from any kind of light um, because it will start to harden. I mean, even though it's in a dark container, it won't do that. All right, let's get this on the show on the road with this one. I'm getting a little, uh, I don't know if that'll stay. Yeah, that'll stay. So with the, with, the lead, with, with the butterfly, there was a challenge. But the best thing that I found was using my, my tweezers. Okay. And I actually pulled this over a little bit. It's still a little wet. <laughs> and I poured just a smidgen. Now, if you want, you can pour it in a cup and then just... Um, from there but I've been doing this for a while so I'm pretty okay with it 
and you're just going to pull it around just like so hopefully you can all see this put a little bit in there watch the holes go around the holes but as if you see that I'm doing this I'm going around very light because it has a tendency to want to go into that hole and I'm pulling it away can you see that and I'm just dabbing just a little bit I feel like Bob Ross remember with the happy trees <laughs> Happy trees. There we go. Just a little bit. There we go. They're happy. Happy butterflies. Make sure that you you look. It's really kind of weird, but if you look to an angle, you can see if you for, if you didn't do the edges because if you didn't do the edges, it's not going to come out. So make sure you pull it towards the edges, not too much. Okay, and then. Usually, let me grab. Let me grab this. What I usually do is, and I didn't want to do it because I wasn't sure whether or not. Um, let me grab something. One second. Okay. I don't know if any of you. Are using this but I always think it's the most important thing this is just an old mat uh, a cricket mat or not a cricket mat but a, a mat whoops my hair is all in there <laughs> and I'm gonna show you we're gonna get um, putty or like you know the poster um, putty I forget what you call it it's called poster putty <laughs> um, it's for posters <laughs> and I'll show you what it looks like it looks like this right and you just take it off like that there you go I'm just gonna take a little bit of off a little bit of off How did I pronounce that? all right and what I usually do I'm gonna slide these over so you can have a better look at this is you just stick this in here hello Maggie all right, now I've already done that, so you're gonna place two little putty things, right? And then let it sit on top of it. This will allow you to really work well with this. I usually do this, but I didn't know if I could being, um, I was on the camera there. Here we go. See how it sits up for me? I don't need to use my tweezers. All right, now I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm going to stick that wing over there, put a little bit in there. This is how I do all my projects, so with the resin. And we're going to go. Now, see, I feel like I'm pulling too much. You don't want that. You want it to be, you want to be pretty generous, but not too generous where it's going to go all over the place. See, you want it to pull, and you're just kind of like pushing it in on the ends there that's the best way that I can I can um, describe the way to use this now see how gentle I was around there um, all right there you go okay so that's the got that now I can do the top and I would do it all on the same time put a little in there be careful because it's going to drip to the sides and you want to pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it in there I usually at this point put a little bit on my my toothpick because of the angle of it it has a tendency now remember at this point it's going to start to harden like that so depending on how you want the wings to be it, this does look it looks like it's difficult but believe me this I made those earrings today they were just like once you get the hang of this I can't get enough of this stuff I'm going to go buy gallons of it <laughs> Because I am i cannot wait. I really do want to try it on the, the larger paper beads. I should try that. It's just I don't think I'd have the patience to do all of them one by one. Alrighty. There's, here we go. Now I'm going to punch this up a little bit. Make sure everything looks good on this side. I'm going to move everything out of the way so you can see... 
um, everything. And now the most important part is, it, oh, you can't even see it. There we go. If there's bubbles, you have to use your um, your flame, and it disperses them. It can't touch it because it won't burn it. And that disperses the bubbles. Now I'm going to just, trying to get everything in this one little camera here. Pick this up a little bit. Turn this on. And then we're going to just slide it in there. See, it's right there. Sticking it in there. Here's our earrings. Oh, you did the eight millimeters, Kathy? How were, I can't wait, I wanna try that too. That is cool. I would love, wouldn't it be great if we can, um, we can dip with it? I would love to dip with this stuff because that's, I string them. I like stringing them. I like getting them all done at once, but I still haven't perfected how to keep it from dripping into the holes because it, it, it it'll, I don't know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Kathy, if you find a way, I want to hear from you. <laughs> and then maybe we'll do a live. Yeah, the toothpick. I know. Because really, the toothpick, this only has to be in here for 60 seconds, just so you know, if anybody is wondering. Um, the toothpick is great, but sometimes I don't have the patience for it. But I do love the outcome of it. Like, I get so excited. I'm like, I cannot wait to roll them and you know what the one thing why I like now with the Pandora you have to use a larger paper roller um, paper paper bead roller um, but I think I'm going to be using my toothpick for all my other ones to, or I'm not my toothpick I'm sorry my um, quilling tool because it is really awesome I mean it 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 just gives you a tiny hole which will allow you to keep it on the toothpick because what I was doing was I was dipping the toothpick in wax it was getting too much for me I was like this is way too much and it getting all gunky and so um, I love the idea of of the little hole I want to show you something the little hole here this is the toothpick they fit perfectly right there and they just sit right there that you know the um let me show you let's see if i have it in here no i know you know what i mean but i'm just determined to show <laughs> here we go here is one of the see i love this see it just sits real nicely on the tip so this would allow me to paint under it and on top of it I mean I just love that I love how they how they look too I mean they're so adorable I have so many ideas with this too you're gonna see a lot of jewelry with this all right I think the butterfly's done it's been done I usually I always overdo everything <laughs> and here we go it's done I'm gonna peel this off now you can do the back of course and when you do the back when you do the back, all you have to do is put these back on here. Put them on the tips, so it can lay like this, and then you just put the glaze on the on the back of it. But look, there you, there's the butterfly, all glazed and everything. I know, Shelly, right? <laughs> Two hundred beads. I'm telling you, I have to say, I was going a little batty when I was making <laughs> when I was making these. But they're so addictive. I love the tiny, I love the tininess of them. And I just love them. I don't know. We're going to have to get Carl to do something. <laughs> We're going to have to get Carl. Thank you, Gabby. So there you go. You've got your three, your three dimensional butterfly. I think it's cool. And you can use it, use it for anything, actually. You can even put a barrette on the back of it and use it as barrettes, right? And here's our earrings, these earrings. And I have one more pair of earrings I'm just gonna show you, which is gonna be another kit. 
and there are your earrings with the chips on the bottom you're gonna feel so energized when you wear them and calm this at all at the same time <laughs> okay there you go so i wanted to show you that because that, that that stuff is so great i love it all right so here is the other pair i want to show you which i love too this is the new shape that i will have tomorrow at 10 o'clock I left this one undone and I love this because look at this now this is with silver and we have moonstone and black obsidian so that's protection and grounding and the moonstone of course we said what it was and then I have the black and white beads now look at this I'm going to show you something these are these were made with a number two by Julie Boldick's, um, her, um, I think it's 330 seconds uh, size. They're the black and whites, and I use them as spacers. Look at that, I use them as spacers. And I don't know if you can see it, gosh, I hope you can. Look how pretty, look how pretty they came, the, the glossiness of that bead. I know Kathy. I, that's why I have them on here. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Carl, when, when I created him, he goes, they look like guitar picks. I said, don't say that. They look like something beautiful. You can even have um, like a chain hanging from here and going through the hole. There are so many different options you can do. But I wanted to show you if you're using, um, like these were really difficult. Look. They, oh, let me show you. I'm going to show you. Uh, the, this, these weren't with the, um, these weren't rolled with the, what do you call it? The quiller, the quilling tool. So, so look, they go right, they go all the way down. They don't stay, right? So all I did was I put a piece of tape here. I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. And look, now it stays. So I don't know if you know that tip or not. <laughs> There you go. So I, it, it stayed right there. And then I just, and the way I glaze them, um, I know we have some new people here. So the way I glaze them, I have a black so it doesn't um, get gunky inside here is the is the, um, the UV. And the way I did it was I was just dunking the Q-tip in there and then just applying it as so. Now I always do the bottom first because it has a tendency if you did the top first it's going to pull all down so you want to do the bottom first and then you do the the top and you don't want to use too much you just want it to give it enough you don't have to put the flame to this one because it doesn't create because it's so tiny it does not create any bubbles so then there you go then you have that yes a pendant would be beautiful I would love it as a pendant that's a great idea you can get the earrings and pendant together and they come in all different colors so someone wanted me to do this in front of them I'm just going to um, show you real quick let me grab my little toolkit <laughs> and I'll just do a couple of those for you All right, so we have our our black obsidian. We have our our other things there, which actually I don't think are like these are not glazed yet. These are glazed. There we go. I love how the white came out. The white, just the white paper for the little ones. Um, what's the cons of dipping them? Um, I mean, nothing really. I can't think of anything because I'm a dipper. <laughs> but you can't dip them with these, with, with this. It's just too, um, it's not made to do that. Like the other materials that we use to dip, 
it allows us to shake it off a little bit and it'll dry evenly with this it's kind of like a liquidy gummy kind of thing i don't think that you're able to to dip it but i'm going to try to find a way because i love the way they well, the way they are so i will take that time out to do them one by one because i just love them all right, so here's our black obsidian. These were really fun to make though. And then when I tell people about it, they're like, ooh, black obsidian in my earrings. <laughs> so we have, here's the one here. Right, Shelly, the resin will fill it. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what would happen. And when you use the other materials to dip, it doesn't really do that. So I love my dipping method. You just, it gets them all done, you know? There's just too many. There's just so many of them. Uh, let me grab my Moonstone. I think I have some out. Where are you, Moonstones? Here we go. Here's some moonstones. The resin. I love the resin though. And if you do really take your time with it, it could be a little tantalizing, but I mean, really take your time with doing the resin. You will have, um, you'll really, I mean, I love it. It, 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 there's nothing like a lot of people that use the resin you'll see that there's bubbles that's why you use the flame or the edges are coming apart that's why we put the Maj Paj around it you want to um, place a primer on it first that's the best way to um, have a nice complete set nice clean clean set so I'm just here rolling wrapping some of the the stone here and I love this. These are great. This wire is, um, it's, it's 20 gauge. It's a little bit more um, stiffer than the other that I have. The other one's 22 gauge. So the higher the number, the, the softer the, um, the wire. There's the one. Does anybody, if you do craft shows, just tell me. Give me a like sign or something. Um, does anybody make jewelry when they're at the craft shows? I mean, do you ever see yourself making it? I mean, or do you just concentrate on what the sale is? I mean, like, or, or concentrate on the people there? I love these. These are so cool. Oh, so you do, Carol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I know you roll them, Kathy. <laughs> No, I never made the jewelry there like at craft shows because I, I just I think I was so exhausted because I usually stay up a lot like when I know I have a show I'm up to like two three in the morning why I don't know and um, I'm tired <laughs> I try to concentrate on on how to you know how am I going to get some sleep the next day whoops I'm all thumbs right now So, we are going to have all kinds of free forms for, for Christmas. Um, I cannot wait. I already have them all drawn out. So, I'm excited about that. It's going to be Chris Christmas in July. And I just got done a whole bunch of, um, what do you call it? Mm jewelry i can't wait to post it so i'm going to take just a little hiatus for a week i'm not going to be here next friday um i wanted to whoops i wanted to make sure that um i was ready because 
I know a lot of you are asking me for some things and I want to make sure that um, that I have all have them all in stock this one's a little too big let me cut this one there we go There we go. Don't you love when you flick them and you don't know where they go? <laughs> you cut them, it's like, where did that one go? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Who cleans up their craft room after they after they um after they create all day? Does anybody do that? <laughs> Cause I don't. I mean I try. So I can have a nice day, you know, the next day and nice clean space. But do we all do that? <laughs> yeah, Lisa, that's a great idea. I know. You know what? I always am curious when they're making stuff. I'm like, oh, I want to see that. But I don't think I can do it because, like I said, I, I'm always so tired. I'm always tired when I'm at the at, at the uh, craft shows because I spend all night. Do I have enough? Do I do I need to make more? You know, so what do I do? I make more. <laughs> I should make them at this at the shows. Okay, there we go. Let me grab these in there. Put those to the side. Whoopsie. And we have our three. And let me put them together. Ooh, tents. Um, I just purchased one from Target uh, not too long ago. I love, it's it's white, but I love it because it really does wrap all the way on the sides. Like people can see me. It's not, I, I love my tent. I can't wait to take pictures to show everybody when I'm at the shows. I was thinking about doing a live, <laughs> right? Does anybody have tents or you usually do inside? I love doing outside. It's just real nice. <laughs> I do, Shelly. <laughs> I do. Uh, you're so right. Even Carl said, he said, Gina, I don't think there's a craft show that you've ever sat down. <laughs> He's like, I said, I know, but I just love, you know, I love talking to people. We talk about all kinds of stuff. And like, if I was, if I went to the one in Rhode Island where Kathy was, I would be talking her ear off probably. She's like, all right, Gina, come on. <laughs> We'd be talking up a storm, <laughs> bringing people over. <laughs> but it's fun. People love to talk about your 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 you know your craft how did you do it and i you know okay who gets the people to say oh i can make this myself i said oh good that's great <laughs> i don't i'm not confrontational so oh no kathy it was oh yes definitely I used to have a nice little tent back in the 90s when I was outside at I think like the farm there was a a farm that had craft shows and the dirt was all over the place I'm like, okay this is the last time I'm doing this but um I don't like that when it's windy okay here we go whoops we're done our we're done our um, our earrings and here they go so we've got our moonstone our paper and our uh, black obsidian and these are a kit for eight dollars and if you don't want the gemstones they are four dollars so and you do get the um, um, the bead already done which is kind of nice I just did a whole bunch of them and I thought you know what I have to get more of that paper but I do have that, so it's easy. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Now 
we have that one. And then we have our butterflies. So these are the two kits and they'll be available tomorrow at 10 a.m. And you'll also be able to purchase um, just the butterflies as well if you want to make your own. You get three, you can get three earrings, three, I'm sorry, yes, you can make three three pairs of earrings, um, you know, just like if you were to, uh, who, the ones that you purchased um, like the other day, um, I, it allows you to make three pairs of earrings, which I love, and you get all kinds of other little goodies with it. I love these. These are awesome. Um... What else do I have? I'm so tempted to show you some other stuff, but they're secrets. <laughs> there's little secrets. Um, there's I, when I tell you there is so much. See, so when you don't hear, like when when I always tell everybody, when you don't hear me, I'm gonna switch over here. Hold on one second. There we go. When you don't hear me from me in the group, I am already thinking in my mind what I'm going to be creating. So there is a bunch of uh, freeform shapes that I have. Like these are really cool. I love these. These are the round ones and I have um, moonstone hanging from them, which is really kind of cool. And um, what else do I have? Well, these are all paper beads too. Um, I think that... Yeah, there's another there's another shape that's really cool. I have about 72 shapes, and uh, they're just fun. And you don't have to just make earrings out of them. You can make um, like the pendants. There's also going to be um, bracelets that I've already created. So little by little, I'm getting it all out. But this resin is fantastic. Does any question anybody have questions about resin? I, I started using resin about a year ago, so I know a little bit maybe. I don't know. I um, had the two-part stuff that nearly knocked me over, and then this stuff is the best. And I, I do not sponsor this. I do not get this is not a paid program for <laughs> for resin. I just I love it, and I wanted to share it with everyone um, because a lot of people they don't know that. You know what does it smell like do you want to invest in it so yeah I would definitely invest in it 72 shapes Kathy mm-hmm and now we are actually I just um, had drawn out some of uh, for Christmas so we're gonna start cutting those very shortly so yeah these these the butterflies are the shapes I have a lot of under the sea kind of shapes um, I can tell you because it's really kind of cool. Um, there are um, mermaids, mermaid tails, really kind of cool. Um, I have birds, I have bird houses. So it's just a matter of getting it out there. It will, it will get out there. I didn't want to like put everything out. I didn't want to overwhelm anyone. So I wanted to make sure that everyone knew how to put them together before I put it out. I really want you guys to have fun with it. I want you to, and I, I told you, like I said, make sure when you do use this that to keep, get the bubbles out, use the flame. Make sure your edges are all done with the Maj Paj because you don't want it to split. Um, you know, I did a lot of trial and error too when I was using the fillers. I used three fillers one time and they were really thick. I liked it, it was okay, it was really thick, but see, the thing is, when I used the marker, it looked okay. It's all a matter of opinion and how, how you like your jewelry. I like using the marker just with the one filler. And you can, um, you won't see it as much. And it's, it's kind of cool. But I tell you, it's really taken off. And I'm really happy that everybody loves it. You're scared to use, Carol, what are you afraid of? Yeah, you can use the UV torches. I had one, but um, I think I got a little crazy with it. <laughs> and I was... I have to learn how to control it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, I was afraid, too. If you're talking about the, um, the you know, the flame with it, I thought it was going to blow my face because this is a chemical, right? It didn't. You just very lightly. You're just trying to disperse the bubbles. 
even your breath can just like if you were to on the um, actual which I used to do you just go <laughs> it will disperse it's the um, oxygen in your in your in your um, your airwaves your breath and all that science stuff <laughs> So if you want to disperse some bubbles without the flame, like I said, um, I guess uh, I guess popping them with the toothpick. That's the only thing I can think of. But you don't even need a UV lamp, just so you know that. I like the UV because it just makes me feel like as soon as I, I glaze it, I put it in there and it stays. Rather than putting it outside, the UV from the light outside will cure it like in seconds as well but I'm not outside so <laughs> oh my god Shelly yeah that's a cool thing um yeah definitely and if you guys if you have any ideas and if you want me to make certain shapes you can certainly ask uh, you know send me your ideas and I will actually give you credit for that as far as saying you know idea photo credit or whatever is your name if I can use your name and we can even name it your, you know, we can have the Shelly, the Shelly shape. <laughs> um, we can have it the Kathy or, or Sharon shape. I can put your name on that as well. Um, depending on, you know, whatever you like. I know I had one person ask me about that. Um, she wanted me to make a, a horse's head. And I did. And it looked okay. It was for a 4-H fair or something. And she was making pins. So... She loved it. I just, you know, we always are critic. We critic. We you know we always critique our our own artwork. It's the resin that I get scared to try it on the missing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know what? I mean, I think the best thing to do. Just try it. Just see what it it's like. Just go for it. I've always done that. I'm like, you know what? What's the risk? What risk will I take if I just try it? And I tell you, I revisited with the UV. I was determined to get the UV because I know somebody else that has used, um, and she's pretty well known, <laughs> um, and she uses resin on her beads. Um, but I, I said I love them. I can't do one by one. <laughs> but I thought, let me just, but she uses the two part and I really can't do that. I love just using, I just, I'm a, I, I don't have patience sometimes with things. I just give me one bottle so I don't need to, you know, put it together. <laughs> do you clean your area every night? Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, do I have a video? The only video I have right now is what you're seeing and the first live that I did. I have 12 videos, get this, on every shape because I think it's important that everybody understands. I don't like to sell things that, okay, here you go, and now you know how to do it. I have to think of the new beginners because you guys are, are, you know, you're seasoned paper beaters. You know how to do your thing. So I have to keep reminding myself that not everyone is like that so uh, what I do is I try to make a video as simple as I can for the beginners and to get them involved in paper beading because it is the most therapeutic and wonderful craft that I have ever had in my entire life I've done everything I did painting I did so much I used to make wreaths I used to make all kinds of oh the shirts and bedazzle back in the 90s I have to tell you the jewelry is 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 my thing that that's my my jam <laughs> So I love that and it's just going to keep getting better and better because I have so many ideas and I love it and I want to share them with you. And I have, and I, and like I said, I am one for being very transparent. Um, whatever you need, I will tell you, you know, but resources, Google a lot will, will help you. <laughs> um... What is the flame called, Sharon? Oh, it's just, um, are you talking about the UV, um, 
the torch they do have it i don't think i have it's a little one i have a little torch and you could just put it on there but it was just i don't know and I, I didn't care for it i just use this it's a um when it's full it, it really does work well i light my candles with it there you go i don't know if you can see it it's, I got this at the dollar store. You get like five of them for a dollar, but I don't like throwing them out. I like to recycle, and you can't recycle some of them, but this one actually, if you could see, is a refillable one. So Cara refilled it, and it spilled all over. <laughs> oh my gosh, Shelly. You and me both. We I used to do that too. The puffy paint. Do you remember? Okay, first of all, does everybody remember? I've talked about this before. Ellen's. I love her. I used to watch her every religiously every day when she would come on at one o'clock in the afternoon. Back in the 90s, I used to just embrace that show. I loved it. It gave me so many great ideas. And I used to watch it religiously. That's the time when my, my son knows it was his nap time. <laughs> he used to know, go right mom's watching Griff. so um yeah it was fun i loved aliens i still watch the old ones just to listen to the music sometimes they're they're beginning you know they're and i think it's like the entry to their show and it just brings me back and i love it that's where how it all started you're welcome sharon puffy paints i remember i used to use the puffy paints on there and then do you remember you used to cut out fabric and have fabric glue stick it to the shirt and then outline it with the puffy paint oh my gosh I, I i still carl and i he used to always attend the craft shows with me and i'm like do you remember that he goes please <laughs> there was puffy paint all over the house <laughs> yeah <laughs> i puffed everything and then there was the, what is it? I guess it was called Bedazzled. And you used to put all the rhinestones. Oh my gosh, the rhinestones. They were plastic rhinestones. They weren't even real rhinestones. <laughs> I used to laugh about them. I'm like, oh yeah, isn't this gorgeous? And then I look back, I'm thinking they weren't even real. They were plastic. Yeah, I would have loved to have Swarovski's rhinestones on that. But back then I didn't know too much. Um, so yeah, but I loved it. <laughs> Um, I did a lot of wallpaper. That's what I was known for, the wallpaper. Also, I want to tell everybody, the wallpaper, um, uh, oh, you know what? Do you want to see something? I hope I still have it. Or maybe I should keep it and hide it and, and then re re reveal it later. Um, where is it? It's another idea that I had, and I was playing with it today, but I wanted to not just show it to you without creating something, because it's a bead. It's a barrel bead and has something on it. I also have strips for that. I have wallpaper strips and I have um, for the barrels, and I have um, all kinds of different colors. It's really cool. Um, what else is there? I'm trying to think other types of materials I, I will be incorporating into the paper beads which is really cool and i just got a whole bunch of it for free and um so yeah when i get things like that for free like even wallpaper i don't i i i only want to be i only want to charge for my time that's it that's i don't even charge for the material because it was free but this stuff was free which i'm really excited about and uh it's going to be fun because you can incorporate it with your paper beads. There are so many things. So just think, July, Christmas in July, we're going to do that. I know, Carol. I saw that. I thought, oh, she snagged some of them up. They're really nice. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really proud of those as well. But there's some other cool stuff I want to show you. And I'm not really sure whether I should show you. <laughs> I have to find it first of all because I think I put it somewhere. It's really cool though. Do you want to see it? Where did I put it at? Let me see if I can find it because I put it all away.
Wait a minute, people. I'm getting it. <laughs> okay. There's something really cool that I started. I guess I could show it. It's no big deal. But I wanted to show you with the bead. And I think what happened was... Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, we had a little guy here today, one of Gianna's friends, and he picked it up and he played with it. And I can't, I don't know what he did with it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show them to you anyway. Um, it's just the paper. It's not even really, I really, oh, I do have it. Here's one of them. But the other one's really nice. It was for July 4th. But I thought, you know what, I'm just going to wait it out. All right, I'll show it to you anyway. All right, so my new thing was word art. I love word art. And I made bracelets out of word art. I used to do all kinds of stuff. And I thought this was really great to show you. So here's the one B. It's not even glazed. I don't like when it's not glazed. Hold on. I want to see if I can do something. Maybe I'll make one right in front of you. How about that? Let me see. Hold on. Let's see. Maybe I'll make it real quick in front of you. Everybody have time? Do you want me to let you guys go? Let me know. All right. Here's the barrel. If I could see. All right, here we go. No, you don't want to see it, Carol? I was going to put these up next week. But I thought, eh, not until I really wanted to make a piece of jewelry out of it. I don't like showing things without showing its end result. Yeah, so... All right, here is the one bead, okay? Here's a barrel, right? Well, it's just like a little squirrel come in and take, oh, here it is. And here's the word art. I don't know if you guys can see that. It says keep, right? And that's a barrel. Now I'm gonna put a different word on there. Now, my glue didn't stay. My glue didn't stay. Hold on. One second. One second. I rushed it. Let me put this back on. Yeah, this is really cool. Um, I only did a few of them. I didn't complete a whole piece of jewelry, but a friend of mine took some of them, and she wanted them. <laughs> so I said, oh, I got to make a piece of jewelry out of it. All right, here we go. Can you see that? I know you can't read it because it's like really like kind of hard to read. But this was the what I was going to expect it to do today, but I didn't want to rush it. I don't rush my things because I don't think that it's it has to be ready. And when these are glazed, they're going to look really good. And this was uh, word art for for Fourth of July. Let me take it off. I don't think you can see it. I still have to, it's a work in art. I don't know which way to show you. See, it says peace. It's harder to see when, when there's um, all kinds of, and there's all kinds of different um, words I have. I have love. And I have wish, and I have all kinds of stuff. Now this one, now this one is on red, just red paper. Let me see if you can see it. Let me see if I can show you. That's on red, red, just red paper, and it says wish. These are really fun. All right, Shelly, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, love you. Thank you for being here. But yeah, so that's what I have. I have, there's a ton of them. And they're all word art. And it's really nice because you can really do some really cool things with it. Okay? Got to make a, um, 
piece of jewelry. You can use this as a focal point. It's still a process, but I thought I'd just share that with you. I thought that's another thing that I'm working on. Usually I don't reveal things before I do, but I think it's fun. I love sharing things with you anyway. All right, so that's it. Does anybody have any questions whatsoever? Let me know. Thank you, Kathy. It's still a work in progress. See, what happened was I was supposed to have the earrings and I was going to make the road art too. This says peace. But it's still, you know, it's, it's a lot. Like I told you, there's so many things that I have that I'm going to, the website has to be redone because there's so much. <laughs> I cannot wait to put it all on there. And uh, everything's going to be available tomorrow at 10 a.m. Oh, thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Sharon, Shelly, all of you, and Carol. Like I said, oh, the videos. I did a few of them um, for each shape. When I try to upload them, I'm not quite sure what's happening now with my YouTube. I, since I reached um, over a thousand subscribers, thank you very much, everyone. Um, things have changed, so I have to learn a little bit of what's going on. I can't upload them, but I will. Uh, it'll. They're going to be all done by next week. Um, I'm going to be working on the YouTube this weekend. So you're going to get all that uh, tutorial and learn how to do it in a little bit more slower pace. So you'll be able to, um, to, to see it. Um, other than that, I just can't thank enough for all your orders, for being here, for supporting me. Thank you so much, everyone. You're so lovely. I love you all. Um, thank you, Terry. I'm so happy. I'm really happy that I love I love creating and like I mentioned I think I'll be doing every Thursday in the group I have to see my schedule probably not for another few weeks but I think if you're interested I'll, I'll put a poll up if everybody like to see that just create some jewelry on Thursdays for a half hour not two hours or an hour just a half hour you know just checking in and and uh, see what we can make right see what's up give you some ideas Oh, thank you so much. And um, a lot of people ask me about my paper bead rollers. You know I get them from Julie Baldock. Um, what else? You try get. Oh, I'm actually I'm actually going to be selling some of the uh, quilling tools. That's in the next month. A lot of people ask me about that. It's going to be part of a kit, so you'll get that in place. And so there's so many things, right? So go. Be positive and get excited about your your craft and 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 you know just be grateful that that is something that a lot of people don't have that creativity right so I'm I'm proud of everyone I see your jewelry and I love it and I'm so excited some of you just you, you all inspire me you really do and I wanted to thank you so much oh thank you Lisa I love you too and I love all of you um so I'll be back but not next week I'm gonna be um, kind of like a, a reset here because I have so much I have to put on the website and um, there's gonna be a lot more uh, paper bead extravaganza a lot of people have been asking me about that I will have that I will also have paper shapes on there don't know when I'm gonna be doing that just so soon probably I'm looking like at August September perhaps and there's gonna be a great giveaway all right you know that I love doing giveaways so look out for that and if you're new here and you are not part of my group I would love to invite you there paper beads born pretty on Facebook and um, again thank you so much for all your all your support all right everyone have a wonderful weekend and uh, see you later bye happy fourth to you Carol bye You didn't switch back to you.